So today, we are going to convert a refrigerator into a curing locker for charcuterie. We want to be able to cure our own meats. We want to be able to cure cheeses. It's a very simple procedure. First, you're going to have to gather some basic tools. The first thing you're going to need is a humidifier. Humidifiers are easy. They're inexpensive. You can get this anywhere. I got it at CVS. Right? We need to add moisture. The brains of the operation is called an atmospheric controller. This is what's called a plug-and-play atmospheric controller. There's no hard wiring necessary. I can literally just plug my refrigerator into this side and it'll override the temperature in the refrigerator, giving me the temperature that I want. And it's got a little sign for the humidifier. The humidifier plugs on this side. And now this will control temperature and the humidity in the locker, which is perfect. We also have a backup manual humidity and temperature gauge. We have a couple of uh, extension cords. We're going to drill a hole right into the side of the fridge. And when we're done with that, we want to make sure we reseal it, right? So it's pretty simple and straightforward. We also have some basic wire nuts, just in case we run into any wiring that we need to do, a little bit of silicone, electrical tape, of course, duct tape, because you can't live without it, and some self-tapping metal screws. Everything that we need to do the fridge conversion. At this point, we're about $180, maybe $200 deep. Uh, most of that is for this, the atmospheric controller. Everything else is relatively inexpensive. Bear in mind, this is California, so it's 2018, it's the very beginning of March. You can probably find this stuff for half this price in any other state. Also, think if it's 2018 and you're watching this video in 2022, it's probably gonna cost a little bit more. All right, so at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and drill a hole right on the side of the fridge so we can start running the extension cords that we need in order for our atmospheric controller and our humidifier to be hooked up. So you can see what we've done is we've just cleared one of the racks out of our fridge and we're literally just gonna drill a hole right through the side of the fridge, all the way through it, so that way we can run our electrical cords, basically extension cords, through the hole and that way we can set up our humidifier and a small fan to circulate the air. This is a real simple process, but if you're gonna cut into the sides of the refrigerator, you wanna make sure that you can seal the hole. I have seen people basically just run the cords outside of the fridge but it creates a gap in the seal that I'm not really interested in. I want to make sure that our unit is completely sealed and tight. Simple hole saw, power drill. We have literally just drilled a hole right through the side of our cabinet. It took about 15 seconds, it's super easy, and now we have access to be able to run our power through the fridge. So, now that our hole is drilled, we need to be able to run power to our humidifier and a small personal fan. It's March and uh, the hardware store didn't have fans because they're out of season, right? So in summertime, you'll be able to find tons of them. I'm sure you can find them on Walmart. I'm just gonna order one offline. You just need a very small fan so that way you can circulate the air constantly. In order to do that, you have to make sure that you have power. So I'm gonna run these two extension cords. This one is with the ground. It's a very simple, inexpensive plug and I'm gonna use this for my fan. This one, on the other hand, is a little bit more heavy duty because in case this humidifier takes a conk on me, I'm going to buy a better one and I want to make sure that I use an outdoor rated cord with a ground loop. So at this point, we have the power cords in and going. So I have one electrical cord that I can plug my humidifier in. This cord is going to plug into my atmospheric controller because it controls my humidifier. This one, on the other hand, goes directly into the wall socket. This will have power all of the time. It has nothing to do with the atmospheric controller because we need to run a fan all of the time and we don't want the fan to be on a timer. The atmospheric controller will control the humidifier and this will give us power inside the fridge that we can use as an ancillary power source for anything that we want. In this case, a fan. Ready? Yep. Okay. So at this point, we have run our cords through the refrigerator and I have mounted my atmospheric controller. These are self-tapping metal screws. I have a couple of wire, basically wire nuts, that hold the cables. So I am now plugged in with an extension cord. This is the extension cord, it has multiple outlets. My atmospheric controller will plug into power, thus giving me a reading. It's gonna read error right now because I'm holding the codes or the cord for the actual thermostat. So at this point, our controller is mounted, our cords are relatively organized. 
We have an extension cord leading in there for our fan. This extension cord is already hooked up into our humidity on the atmospheric controller for our humidifier. Now it's time to basically hook up the control, the thermostat and humidifier controller, so that way this machine can read what's going on inside the refrigerator. And at that point, we basically need to seal this hole and we're done. It's literally that easy. All right. We've now run the control to our thermostat humidifier gauge. All right, we're gonna make this look pretty here in a second. Once we put our other stainless steel rack in, we're gonna go ahead and finish off with a couple of our little keepers, our cable keepers. We're basically gonna finish this off so it looks nice and tight and clean and real. At this point, we're basically done. We need to clean it, we need to put it back together, give the floor a nice clean off. We're gonna fire the thing up, we're gonna make sure that it reads and we don't have any error codes, and then we're gonna set the degrees and humidifier that we want once we plug our humidifier in. We'll come back tomorrow, and if it's where we're holding, we're going to start filling this meat locker. So stay tuned for other Shasta College culinary how-tos. Thank you. So now, our fridge is complete. We've mounted the sensor for the atmospheric controller. We've put all of our racks back in. All the cords are tucked away behind the racks and secured so that way they don't get wrapped up anything. We have our humidifier full of water ready to go and you just turn this all the way on because your atmospheric controller is going to take control of it. It is plugged into the extension cord that goes directly to the atmospheric controller and this is an extension cord that is just available power for the small fan that we need to add to this. That would be the last step is the small fan. You will see over here our atmospheric controller. At this point, I just need to set the atmospheric controller to the temperature and humidity that I need. I have sealed the hole. We have the power for the humidifier going into the fridge for the humidifier, and we have the actual refrigerator plugged into the atmospheric controller on this side, so that way this brain will now control our fridge and the humidifier will be controlled by the atmospheric controller. This is just pure power from the wall. We're running the atmospheric controller into the power and we're running a simple power cord into the fridge so that way we can add a fan later. At this point, it's sealed. We just need to let this harden. We need to set the controller and when we come back tomorrow, we will have a perfectly functioning fridge. It's really simple. It's one hole, two extension cords, the atmospheric controller and a fan. It's literally that easy. It does take about half an hour to 45 minutes with basic know-how. If you struggle with tools or if you're having a hard time basically organizing this, it might take up to an hour, but it's really simple. The most important part is this. This is the atmospheric controller for temperature and humidity, and you can't do this project without it. There are a lot of these on the market. I like this one because you simply plug in your humidifier, you plug in your fridge, and it does everything else for you. It's very simple. So, please like this video. This is Shasta College. We hope that you build a meat locker and enjoy your charcuterie.